If you're not receiving any clicks and your site isn't visible on Google search page, you probably haven't submitted your website to Google Search Console in a right way. Or you may be missing something. Manually submitting your site can be risky. Sometimes you might skip important steps, leading to your website not appearing in Google search results. In this video, we'll use a plugin to ensure that every step is completed. Let's dive in. Okay, so in the backend of your WordPress site, or you can say in the dashboard of your WordPress, we're going to install a plugin. So hover your mouse over plugins and then click on add new plugin. Now come over here and search for Google Site Kit. Now install and activate this plugin. Click on install now and then click on activate. Now click on start setup. In the next page, you have to sign in with your Google account. So I'm going to click on sign in with Google. In the next page, you have to select your Google account. Then you have to click on continue button in order to allow this plugin to access your Google account. By the way, you don't need to scare because this plugin belongs to Google as well. In this page, you will see a verify button. Since I've already verified my account, in the second step, you can turn on metrics on your dashboard of WordPress just by clicking on the allow button, click on that. Now, in the third step, you can set up your Google console account by clicking on setup button. In the fourth step, you can set up your Google Analytics just by clicking on next button. Now wait for a few seconds. It will connect the server with your Google account. Now you have option to change your account name, property and web data stream. Next, select your country and your time zone. Now do not touch anything else. Simply click on create account button. Now select your Google account. Now click on continue to allow this plugin to access your Google account. Now this plugin do its thing in the background. So wait for a few seconds. Now you will redirect to Google Analytics website. So here you have to accept the data processing term. Next, you have to select your country, go to this drop down option, type the country name and select it. You can read this data processing term if you want. Rest all things are good here. Then check this box as well. Scroll down and click on I accept. Make sure you check this option and click on I accept. So with that, you can see this success message. That means your plugin has been set up successfully. Now click on go to dashboard and from now you will see all your Google Analytics report and more directly inside your WordPress dashboard. If you go to your Google console account and click on start now button. So here you can see plugin has created your Google console account. The important thing that you have to check on your Google console account if your Google search console account does have the XML sitemap of your website. If it doesn't have the sitemap, then you have to submit your website XML sitemap manually. You can do that by watching my other video, link in the video description. Or if your Google Search Console does have the XML sitemap, but it shows you some error, this might happen because you're just getting started and your website does not have any content. You have two options. Either you can wait for a few days and add content on your site. If you still have a content, but still you're not getting the XML sitemap with this plugin, then you can watch my other video and submit your XML sitemap of your WordPress website to Google search engine manually. So that's the end of this video. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till then, I'll see you next time.